Welcome to another training video from learningcomputer.com. Today our topic is using subqueries in SQL Server 2008. Uh, in a different topic we had covered uh, using joins. So this is a little bit a related topic that we are going to cover today. As far as today's agenda, uh, we are going to be using Northwind database, uh, which is a sample database that came with SQL Server 2000. Uh, I have just uh, essentially copied the database to my SQL Server 2008, and I will be using this uh, for today's lesson. Uh, first, we will use the in clause to find match data between uh, customers and orders. Next, we will uh, be using uh, not in clause, which is opposite, to find unmatched data. And then we will also talk about the uh, performance uh, comparison between uh, the in and join clause. Uh, you know, there are people on both sides of the fence. Uh, typically, uh, I, I believe joins work faster, but uh, you know, it, it depends on your data, uh, maybe the number of records, and also uh, obviously the indexing and whatnot. So, so we'll take a look at that also real quickly. As far as the schema, uh, like I mentioned, we are going to be using customers and orders uh, table in the Northwind, Northwind database. It's a pretty simple uh, model here. On the right side, we have the customers uh, table using customer ID as a primary key. This would be uh, the primary, you know, the main table. And uh, related to this table, using one to many relation, we have orders, which is using um, sorry for that, uh, which is using the order ID as uh, their primary key, but also notice that there's a customer ID, uh, which is essentially the foreign key. So in other words, one customer can have uh, zero, one, too many orders. Now as for some terms, if you're not familiar with this stuff, uh, like I mentioned, a primary key is really the field that can serve as a unique identifier, identifier in a table. So we looked at, uh, for the customer's table, this would be a customer ID. Uh, really what that means is that you are giving a unique value uh, to that record. So, you know, if you have two customers named uh, ABC Corporation, you should be able to tell them apart. Uh, the next item is a foreign key. This is a field in a child table that stores related info from a parent table. So for example, like we looked at, uh, the customer ID in orders table will be storing the same information as the customer ID from customer table. And the whole idea is uh, using this, you can uh, point back to the actual customer when it, it comes time to ship the products. So as for subqueries are concerned, they can use either in clause or exist clause. These can be used instead of join. Uh, however, joins are typically faster from a performance tuning point of view. So uh, we will take a look at this a little bit more later. Um, so here what I've done here is I'm using Venn diagrams, which uh, is actually a concept from uh, mathematics. It's uh, typically used to uh, talk about logic and whatnot. But what I've done here is we have on the left side, we have the customer table, if you can think of that. And on the right side, we have the orders table. So the section where the circles intersect, uh, this is essentially the common section highlighted in red and really points to all the customers with orders, okay? Now before I go into the next one, I'm actually going to go ahead and jump to uh, my management studio. Um, just before we get into the actual uh, code, I do want to show you the, the columns on the left side. What I've done is I've, I've created a table called customer2, which is basically a copy of customers. Um, and so here is the primary key for that table. And uh, down below, we will see an orders to table. And this one essentially has the primary key on order ID, and it has the foreign key on customer ID. So that's really uh, the structure. So let's uh, get down and dirty into the actual T-SQL code. So what we're going to do is, uh, for starters, I am actually just going to do a select count from customers, customers to table which is 91 rows and then I am going to uh, by the way I'm just highlighting the code and hitting F5 to execute uh, the SQL 
Okay, so the count from orders is actually um, 830, orders 2. So that's actually good that I did that. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is we need to find customers with orders. Okay, so so remember our starting point is customers. All right, so I will start with start select. Um, we'll just do C dot customer ID and C is really an alias which you will just see in a minute here. And the reason you have an alias is to um, essentially shorten your code. So now instead of you know writing customer customer two dot, I could just say C dot. And notice that uh, by the way, in SQL 2008, you have a little bit of uh, Alice, uh, IntelliSense, which is going to help you find fields and um, objects easier e easier than before. So that's a great good thing. So anyway, what I'm uh, writing here is I want to find uh, customer ID from customers to table where customer ID in this is where we use the in clause. And I'm going to start brackets here and say select customer ID from orders to table. All right, so let's read this real quick a little bit. You're saying I want this field from this table and I only want those records where there's a match from the main table to a match in the second table okay this is uh, remember this is our child table so uh, I believe the records I should be getting should be 91 or less here so let's go ahead and run this and you'll notice on the right side down here we have 87 rows which by the way I guess I could have just looked here before uh, setting this up I was just testing some of the code so so these are the customers with orders now okay that's great how do we can we write the same query as a join sure you can okay so let me show you how you do that uh, I'm going to be a little bit lazy and going to go ahead and copy some of this code as a starting point so now instead of using the where clause I'm going to say inner join our second table which is orders 2 and I'm going to give it an alias O on what is the common field it's C dot customer ID from the first table equal to O dot customer ID from the child table okay um, and that to me looks about right so let me go ahead and run this and see what happens oh no look at this we are actually getting uh, 795 rows um, what happened well here's what you gotta be careful about now when you're doing a join remember it is going to go ahead and bring up bring all the records okay from both the tables what you need to do here is you need to do a distinct which in other words because we're gonna have a customer that's gonna have several different record uh, orders possibly so all I want to do is add distinct and I'm going to go ahead and run this again and see if we can make any difference so this looks a lot better we are getting 87 records here in this case so uh, I'm going to actually switch back to PowerPoint so here what I, what I have done is